the greatest lesson of my life. $35 in my pocket. I did not know anyone here. The malleability of intelligence itself. It's 100 nonfiction books every year. Three graduate degrees. Professor at multiple universities. Joy of learning. Being in the moment. That it's not just the words, but also body language. Creative, happy. What labels are you carrying that others have given you? I was born in a tiny village in South India into a caste classified as most backward caste. None in my village have ever been to an airport. I was the first person to go to an airport to get on a plane to come to a faraway country called the United States of America. And crawls rock melts. I repeat, and crawls rock melts. Through persistent effort and patience, even the tiniest footsteps can make a huge impact. I was expected to follow the footsteps of my ancestors and get involved in caste rivalry. I was expected to receive F grades in all subjects. I was expected to earn four dollars a month salary. I was on path to fulfilling all those expectations throughout my childhood. I started to resist the labels put on me and took back my life and started to write my own life story. I came to this city to get a master's degree from NYU. I showered in the gym and slept in the library and started my life. I went on to get two master's degrees and a PhD. How did I manage to do that impossible? Persistence. Take up one idea. Make that one idea your life. Think of it. Dream of it. Live on that idea. Let the brain, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success. I also set a goal to read 100 nonfiction books every year. That goal developed into a joy that I finished about 2,000 nonfiction books, about 300 a year in the last three, four years alone. And I love sharing the joy of learning. One of the best human beings I've ever met. Always expanding your mind. He likes to help people find out who they are. His insight on life, his perspective, puts your life in a whole different perspective. He makes me feel like I can achieve anything that I ever possibly could want to achieve. I speak on the topics of student retention, diversity and inclusion, and the joy of learning through my personal stories to not only inspire, but techniques for students to overcome the barriers. Who writes your life story?